안녕하세요. 저는 로키입니다. And welcome to today's video where we are going to be reacting to some more of our girls, the Fimis. And today, they are back with the Unforgiven Highlight Medley. And I am mega fucking excited. Now, of course, I know that these were released, uh, I think, as shorts. I, I think this is the same thing. I don't know if they're actually... Wait, are they... Is, it, is this literally just a compilation of the shorts? It's in the vertical aspect ratio, so I'm going to guess that maybe they are. But I held myself off on them, which is why we didn't react. We did react last time uh in in that way so i'd like stitch the shorts together like i'd scrolled through them um back when they came back with anti-fragile but instead oh they so okay so only instrumentals this is with the lyrics okay kick cool sick lead okay i was right to obviously hold off and stuff but yeah i didn't check them out uh because i thought that you know something else would be coming like this and of course i'm very excited to see what this is going to be like so without any further ado massive old like full screen more filmies on the website every week three two one let's go burn the bridge so this was in their uh oh my god we look amazing chewon this was in their um the concept teaser a door locked shut another door Dude, it looks amazing i opened them all yeah. Oh, the way it fades out. Oh, the tra the transit. Oh no, don't tell me, bro, that we get no celestial part two. Dude, the transition was sick. I just wanted to go back on that. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, give me some like old town road type vibes. Was way different than I was expecting. Uh, uh. Oh, okay, do this. Horns. Nah, dude, I, I wasn't ready for that. We got horns. That sounds really familiar for some reason, that melody. No return. Okay. Oh, dude. Okay. I'm a mess, mess, mess. Oh. Hey. Hey. Ah. Oh, oh. Do we get in hip hop, please, Piona? Between you, me, and the lamppost. Yep. Yunjin. Yeah, Yunjin credits. Lit. Oh wait, Yunjin, Sakura, Chewon, Unche, and Kazuha. Everyone credits. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, Chewon, your fucking voice, girl. Adi mok sori ga boka. Chomsa ingo katinde Chewona. Bro, her voice is like an angel. I swear to God. Oh. Oh. Oh, got that like little city pop type vibe. Okay, that's my favorite so far. Fire in the belly. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, bruh. This is like nothing to judge. Like, this is nothing to base anything on. Like, dude, like, dude, I feel like, nah, look, my mind, my mind's on some shit right now. I feel like this is. Like, for me, this gives me so much, but gives me nothing at the same time. I have no idea what these full songs are going to sound like. And in that way, in that in that vein, in that sense, these have been teased perfectly. Like, literally, I have absolutely no idea what these songs are going to sound like. And, I mean, on top of that, like, we can get general vibes. You can get, like, a general feel or, like, a general mood from it. And you could go, oh, okay. But... 
yeah, like literally the big yeehaw energy that we wind up getting from Unforgiven. Like, dude, Unforgiven was probably the one that shocked me the most. I was like, okay, like, okay. It's it's really interesting to see just where they're going to go, considering like we went from Fearless then to Anti-Fragile and then Unforgiven is a complete like slap in the face. It's a complete different direction, at least from the sounds of it. But it might be a lot more than that. I can't even remember how Anti-Fragile was teased, not gonna lie. Yeah, I can't even remember how Anti-Fragile was teased. All I know is that for this comeback, the amount of sounds, the array, rather, should I say, of vibes, and also the way in which they add their own personal touches to them, and I think, like, bridge the gaps and, like, blur the lines between certain types of genres and or vibes is really, like, quintessential, unique, peak, like, 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 can I speak? Peak Lacera thing. Wow. Peak Lacera behavior. It is peak Lacera behavior in terms of the way that they are, like, bridging those gaps, the way that they are, like, creating, essentially, their own type of, like, sound, their own type of vibe, which I think is starting to become very recognizable. Like, you would be able to hear certain songs and you go, oh, that sounds like a La Seraphim song. And I think that with all of these, I can definitely say that at least so far, just based off the first listens of, you know, the 15 to 20 seconds that we wind up getting of them, that I would probably say, I would probably say that. Fimmy's broken. Look, it's one in the morning. <laughs> Dude, um, I really enjoyed this. I, I'm not, I feel tempted to listen to it again but i won't you know what i won't because i do not want to spoil myself even further i think what i want to do is when this album comes out we're going to go back into it i'll just go based off the impressions that i've got at the moment and then when we go back into it it'll be something completely different i bet i just know that like we're going to listen to this album we're going to open this album up on stream we're going to listen to it we're going to react to it and this whole thing is just going to come like rushing at light speed, like at my face, and it's just gonna take me out, bro. It's gonna absolutely headshot me. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, I can't wait for this one. I really hope that you guys are excited as well too. Let me know what your favorite song was down in the comments below. I think the ones that took me so far were so PNR, so literally fear not between me, between you, me, and the lamppost. I uh, will probably that one and what was this one called again? What was this one called Flash Forward? Sounds really cool as well, too. And I really like the city pop vibes of Flash Forward. I think Fire in the Belly, I was like, what is this? Like, where are we going with this? And also uh, Unforgiven. I think Unforgiven, I'm really excited to hear. Although naturally, when we're talking about like the intro with Burn the Bridge, I feel like Burn the Bridge already, considering what we were being able to like associate it with visually, with that concept teaser, that's got like a vibe. I think that it's just always going to hit. And what I have to say as well too, is one thing that is becoming a really common overarching theme for their discography so far is that their intros fucking hit. Their intros fucking hit. Like The Great Mermaid, Hydra, Now Burn the Bridge, like, hello, intros fucking hit. They are literally like peak songs that you would have on your playlist regardless. You still have them on there and you still listen to them anyway. I don't know, man. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Of course, love and appreciate you. Do feel free to give the video a like and subscribe if you guys want to catch more La Seraphim content over here. Of course, on top of that, if you do want to catch extra La Seraphim stuff, then we now have a website which you guys can go and visit up there. It's basically uh, my version of Patreon. It is a different platform called Fourth Wall, but basically it's way, 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 way fucking better. So you guys can go and catch all of that over there instead of on Patreon from now on. But thank you so much as always for tuning in. Until next time though, take care of yourselves out there stay safe but most of all and above all else make sure that you guys are staying happy and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers